The following is a presentation of the Pro Wrestling Report. Informative, entertaining, and real since 1998. Welcome back to the Pro Wrestling Report. Monday Night Meltdown. An amazing episode of WWE Raw tonight. The go-home show going into WrestleMania. But we've talked enough about that. Because right now we have a legend with us on the show. Let's welcome King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy 5. Welcome to the Pro Wrestling Report. That's why I've always admired you, son. You always tell the truth. <laughs> it's What's been going so on, guys. Welcome to you, but it, it, it's always great to have you on as we go into WrestleMania, WrestleMania 28, obviously, this weekend down in Miami, Florida. But first, I, I, you've been very, very vocal on Twitter, at Real KK Bundy on Twitter, especially since last Monday night when The Miz had some, Damian Nelson's uh, pride and joy, The Miz. I, 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 I am a fan of The Miz. However, his comments of last week where he specifically called you out, Bundy, and referenced you as, quote-unquote, a WrestleMania failure, uh, that definitely was surprising to you from especially what we saw on Twitter. What would you like to say to The Miz? Because we know he's listening right now as far well, as what he had to say last week on Raw. Well, number one, I'd like to say to him, you're a turd, Okay. I wrestled in more main events than you have matches, okay? That's number one, Miz. Number two, you know, people can learn from my WrestleMania. What did he call it, Dave? A fall from grace? Yeah, yeah I, was I, think top, I was the top heel in wrestling for probably four years, and then all of a sudden I just lost my wrestling skills. And I can tell you what happened. I stopped practicing my wrestling skills. You know, back to, before that, I would practice like five, six hours a day, and then I just quit practicing my wrestling skills at all, and that's what happened. You know, it had <laughs> nothing to do with fall, nothing to do with falling out of favor with the office, nothing to do with not having my head up Vince McMahon's ass like the rest of the guys did. Nothing to do with it. It's just a total erosion, a total a depletion of my wrestling skills. That's what happened there. So, so you. You lost a step, is what you're saying. It had nothing to do with politics, to do with to do with how good your legs looked in tights, any of that kind of stuff, did it? I thought that was him at first, Steve. I'm, I'm just disappointed to say that to hear that was you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm, proving your point. I'm just proving your point. If I have to explain it to anybody, can I tell you something? I am so stupid. Here's how stupid I am. I assume a lot of people, or most people, are like me. I never talked to Vince McMahon. I never called him. Well, actually, I called him a couple times about things. But, I mean, I was never, you know, yapping at his heels, trying to get a minute with him at TV and at pay-per-views when we'd see him. And looking back, that was a mistake. He liked people to do that. I thought, here's how dumb I am. I thought I was doing him a favor by not talking to him. You know what I mean? But it turns out he wants guys. I'm sure the Miz has his head so far up his ass he can taste his breakfast because that's the only reason he can have the spot he has. <laughs> I mean, look at the kid. He's the most ordinary-looking guy you'll ever see. I mean, wrestling's about, you know, bigger, you know, bold or whatever. This kid, I don't even know what he looks like, but I've heard. And, and now, any, more met, any more questions, Damien? No, no I, I actually do. Have you ever spoken to or met the Miz? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, actually, he did an appearance at the local mall, and I went and I waited in line for like four hours. <laughs> But finally, my old my old legs gave out, and I realized, you know, I've never talked to the Miz. <laughs> wow! Uh, I, talk, I talked to Don, I talked to Donald Trump a couple weeks ago, but I, I never talked to the Miz. <laughs> you know, King Kong Bundy, guys like Rowdy Roddy Piper, the Iron Sheik, yourself, Ravishing Rick Rude, Mister Wonderful Paul Orndorff, guys could draw a ton of heat by just being that heel. How do you think? The current crop of heels, guys like The Miz and, um, uh, you, you know, a, a, a Chris Jericho or a Daniel Bryan, compared to the guys from the mid to late 80s, early 90s, how have you seen the, 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 the change and the difference in the wrestling stars? Mm, well, first of all, in my opinion, they look like little kids, most of them. You know, and, I, and I'm not saying, I, I, I always hated old guys were bitter and ran down the young guys, but this guy brought this up. They look like little kids to me. It looks like uh, like little kids in the ring playing. It doesn't look like men in the ring. They don't, they don't look like me and Hulk Hogan and Don Morocco and people like that. They look like little kids. And it's good because that's who watches the show now, little kids. 
You know, wherever I went, do you ever go out and see a wrestling T-shirt anywhere? Wrestling is so dead right now. I don't know what the what are the ratings like, Dave? Well, that that's more Damien's specialty, but I believe Raw's what, what three point two or a three point four. Is that something right, Damien? Yep. What, what, does that, what does that mean? It means re- wrestling's not mainstream anymore. Wrestling's uh, almost become a niche product for only the most loyal of fans. There's not that casual fan anymore of professional wrestling. That's exactly right. And I think the reason, well, look, a big reason is they have main event matches on TV every week. It used to be, yeah. if you wanted to see top guys against top guys, and I think I've said this before on the show, guys, if you wanted to see top guys against top guys, you bought a ticket or you bought a pay-per-view. Now they just have them every week. I'm yep. just online here. I want, I want to see what the stock is at. I remember it was around yeah, 7 it's, it's about, now, it's, now it's eight ninety nine. so it's less yeah. than... Uh, it's just a little more than half of what it was last time I checked. It was a while ago, though. Yep. And so I, was, I actually read I heard, uh, from the Miami... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. I actually read an article today published by the Miami Herald that talked about the things you just brought up, the ratings, the uh, business the $30 million they've lost on this failed movie venture and the fact that they only made $25 million in profit last year, whereas a couple of years ago they were making $50, $60 million in profit. The business itself is, 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 is challenged at this point. And I think, and we've talked about this on this program, David Hero, and Bundy, you're pretty much solidifying it now. It's, there's no larger-than-life stars. If you look at who is arguably the newest, biggest star in wrestling as of late, you're talking about probably CM Punk. And uh, CM Punk, while he has a unique look to him, he's not really larger than life. And that's the best of the bunch right now in professional wrestling. I, I actually was talking to uh, Howard Finkel a while back, and I, I said, you know, this guy, CM Punk, he's one of your top guys. And nothing against the kid. I never met him, but I can't see it. Mm-hmm. I, just, I just can't see it. Yeah. You know, I heard the stock used to pay a real high dividend. The dividend yields at five point four six percent, which is pretty good nowadays. But financials with King Kong Bundy. Yeah, you can get a six percent yield with uh, Verizon or AT and T. I'd rather have those. Than, I'd rather have those than WWE. I wouldn't want my life savings there. I always, I always thought there'd be some kind of giant. There still may be some kind of giant scandal where it comes out the books were cooked. You know and some kind of yeah. financial scandal. I'm still waiting for that to happen. It, it wouldn't be very surprising, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, it, it, would, it would not be shocking at all. I actually heard this man's, who are certainly the principal stockholders, that I, I heard this a couple of years ago, they weren't taking their dividends so they could maintain the dividends for the other shareholders. But I just think wrestling, it's, uh, it's just not what it was. It used to be, yeah. sometimes I'd be out somewhere and somebody would see me, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, it's Ted Bundy. The serial killer. And I'd say, no, 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 I'm not I'm King Kong Bundy. I'm a good Bundy. <laughs> now when it happened, somebody said, are you, are you King Kong Bundy? I said, no, I'm Ted Bundy, the serial killer. But I've really gotten better. I'm a lot nicer now, and, you know, they let me go. You know, I don't want to admit to being a wrestler no more. <laughs> no, you know, but, oh, go ahead. So, when you talk about WrestleMania, and there's, you know, two guys that come to mind. It's Hulk Hogan and The Undertaker. And you, King Kong Bundy, main evented with Hulk Hogan, WrestleMania 2. And then, of course, you were, uh, had, I believe it was match number five or six of The Undertaker's streak at the time. What was it like with Hogan in the main event, which I'm sure you've answered a million times, and then going to work with The Undertaker? Well, The Undertaker match, I did not do a single promo on TV for The Undertaker match. So it was kind of like, uh, it sucked. Yeah, not one single promo. Huh. That was always, you know, I, I, I can talk as, as good or better than 99% of the guys in this business, you know, yeah. then and now, you know. And uh, I, I defy someone to dispute that. You're not disputing, are you, Damon? Absolutely not. No, I, I'm in no, the better. right place. Because I defy you. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. But, you know, the, the wrestling against Hulk was a lot of fun. The Undertaker, he didn't like wrestling me. He, he, yeah, well, I don't even bother getting into it. We had a couple of matches, and, you know, my spots are very simple, and I, I, I don't forget them. You know, I may suck in the ring, you know, may, may be slow, whatever, but I don't forget the spots, and the spots are forgotten, and I think it was kind of a ball break. You know, I didn't even get into it, you know. 
But because uh, at that point I knew they weren't doing anything with me, so I got a little payday. That was it. <laughs> well, King Kong Bundy, we're just about out of time here. It is always a joy to speak to you, and especially like I said, being in this or, or watching wrestling for as long as that I have, and as long as Dave has, which is of course longer than me. We all remember wow. King Kong Bundy in WWE, WWF, and WrestleMania. WrestleMania. There are so many names that are synonymous with WrestleMania, and King Kong Bundy is definitely one of those names. And hopefully, at some point, WWE will come to their senses and properly recognize those accolades that you certainly deserve. And uh, I can't wait to find out what happens when you and The Miz meet face-to-face, or, well, Uh, this is probably just a little shorter than you. What will happen, there'll be a little splotch of grease on the floor that used to be the Miz. That will happen. <laughs> Hopefully it'll never happen, because I, I don't want to go to jail for manslaughter. <laughs> you know what? Before we go, before we go Damien, be, before we go, you know what? There's, there's been a lot of talk on the Internet, and, of course, on Twitter. King Kong Bundy and the Hall of Fame. What, what is your take on the Hall of Fame and you not being inducted yet? Well, because Pete Rose and Vern Gagne never wrestled there. He'd nothing Need nothing against Coco, but he's in there. I just, you know, I wouldn't complain about being in it. Oh, I don't complain about it, but I wouldn't mind if there weren't so many people in there that, you know, don't deserve to be in there as much as I do. But, I, you know, it's something like that's the furthest thing from my mind. So next year when WrestleMania is going to be at the at Giant Stadium in New York slash New Jersey, and you get the phone call from the office saying, we want you to be in the Hall of Fame. Is that a yes or a no answer? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's it's uh, it's very rude and very disrespectful what they've done. And you know, so I'm like, okay, some guys. I was the type of guy. I never once refused an accommodation. I never once didn't do my best to make the other guy to make to make what the office wanted to, to happen to make that happen. I always try to make that. You take Paul Orndorff. Paul never tried to make anybody else look good. If he wasn't going over, he wasn't happy, and it showed. I had a match yeah. with the Jack. I can't remember the circumstances, but it was the man. I told him this before. You know, he just said, ah, you know, screw you, Bundy. But uh, it was me and the Giant and Paul just messed up. I remember we were talking in the shower about it. I called him in the shower. I mean, not to fight or anything. Paul's a tough guy. I've heard. But I just <laughs> said, you know, Paul, I really don't appreciate what you did. And basically, you know, he told me to go screw myself again. But... Uh, I look better than him now compared to what I used to look like. I still look the same, Damien. I tell people, that's how you look good when you're old. I look like crap when I was young. I look like crap now. You should put on about, should put on about, a, about 150 pounds and start smoking. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure being on your show, and I really appreciate you having me on. Thank you well, so thank much. Thank you very much. At Real, at Real KK Bundy on Twitter, a barrel of laughs all the time and uh, you never hold back on Twitter so be sure you go out and follow King Kong Bundy it's at Real KK Bundy on Twitter Bundy thank you so much for joining us we'll be right back right after this time out right here on Pro Wrestling Report Monday Night Meltdown